Welcome back, Towners. Today we're going to make some French toast. Let's get it. Alright guys, to start off this recipe here, uh, we're going to start off with our blender cup. Uh, this is going to be a very simple, easy preparation to start the dish off. Um, basically, just going to add everything to the blender cup and just mix it all up together. So to start off, we have six eggs. We're going to crack in uh, six eggs and add it to our blender cup. And then we added in uh, some cream cheese. Our seasonings are some cinnamon, nutmeg, vanilla extract, some sugar-free syrup, and stevia substitute sugar substitute as well as some butter and then we added in a tablespoon of heavy whipping cream and that's basically it uh, we went ahead and placed a cap on our blender cup this is what it looked like before we added it to the blender we went ahead and went over to the blender and mixed all that up together uh, for about 30 seconds to make sure everything was well mixed and well combined and this is pretty much how our mixture looked after it came out of the uh from being blended looks like a very thin pancake batter uh, we then took our uh, silicone loaf pan and sprayed it with some cooking spray so that way nothing would stick to it or to help with non-stick and we just poured all of our uh, egg mixture into our loaf pan and then we took some uh many blueberries that we had that were frozen we just rinsed them off to get all the ice crystals off and everything and just sprinkle those across the bottom layer of our loaf pan uh, we then went ahead and popped that in the oven at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes and this is how it looked after it came out of the oven uh, we used a toothpick to just test and poke in like you test it with cornbread or a cake just to make sure that uh, it comes out clean and we knew it was done at that point we then let it sit and rest on some uh uh, oven mats just to, so it wouldn't burn the cutting board or anything. Uh, we took a knife and just went around the outside layers of the silicone pad to make sure that it will come out easy. And this is how it looked after it came out. You can see all the blueberries along the bottom half. Uh, after it cooled, we took a knife and just cut it into strips along uh, about a half inch thick uh, just to make the shape of our French toast sticks. And then we were ready to uh, crisp them up. Uh, we got out a skillet put down a little butter um, at the bottom of the pan and uh, placed in as many as we could uh, in the pan over a low medium heat and uh, just brown it up for about a minute and a half, um, 45 seconds or so to a minute on each side and they'll brown up enough. Once they were all cooked up, we hit it with some uh, sugar, uh, some additional stevia sugar substitute um, and uh, some uh, cinnamon. And um, that's pretty much all that we had to do to it. Um, here's a close up of how one of them looked. Uh, this one was pretty much breaking apart anyway, so it, it broke off really easy. But uh, you can see the uh, blueberries all throughout. The uh, cinnamon and sugar substitute that we add on <laughs> sugar substitute and cinnamon that we added on top of it um, broke it apart and uh, gave it a quick taste. Um, here is our final product of how our uh, Cinnamon, uh, I keep saying cinnamon sticks, but uh, French toast sticks um, looked, or French toast, however, however you would like to call it. We just basically stacked them up in like a little log cabin format uh, to take some pictures of it. Uh, but this uh, came out uh, very nice. It was very simple, very easy to make and to, to uh, put together. You just basically put everything all in the blender and mix it all together and pour into the, the loaf pan and let it go. Um, here is a close up of um, us going in and pouring some syrup on there. We had one with some slow mo action here, and this was very um, satisfying to watch. <laughs> uh, just pouring the syrup all over it. Um, and then uh, after we hit it with the syrup, we also went through with some uh, additional stevia uh, sugar free substitute. And sprinkled that over top, made it look, made that, and that made it look like snow. Um, the um, stevia substitute uh, got from Walmart. Um, it's it's a it's it's more of the texture. It's it's granular looking, but it, when it's shaken up, it kind of looks like a powder a powdered sugar. So you can kind of use it in both ways, but it still has a sugar flavor, which is pretty much all I needed for that. 
But um, this was uh, our, our our French toast sticks, and then we're going to go through and hit it up with a taste test. All right, guys, here we go with the taste test. Uh, these French toast sticks came out nice. Um, the last time we had it, we just basically just cut it into like pie shaped pieces and ate it that way. But this one, adding the uh, butter and browning it up came out very nice. Another close up of it. These taste just like French toast. I really I cannot tell the difference in um, in this only difference in the other one which has, has bread in it but um, the heavy whipping cream and the uh, cream cheese help to add a thickness to this and this came out great um, very easy to make just pop it in the oven we did it for about 25 minutes and once it was solidified then let it cool off and browned it up in a pan and you're good to go these are perfect I have zero complaints with this. This is definitely be something that can easily be done again. And I'm pretty sure these will be made, you can make these in advance and they'll store well because the, uh, it's just egg. Um, go ahead and try this out. Blueberry French toast sticks. And that was our taste test for the French toast sticks. Um, let us know in the comments section below what your favorite toppings is that you like to add to your French toast sticks. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them and we can reach back out to you. Um, and as always, thank you guys for watching. Enjoy. Enjoy. Please subscribe. Enjoy. Hey, Towners. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. All ingredients and directions are listed in the description box below each video. And as always, thank you guys for watching.